Hi guys! In this video we're finishing up our space Galaxy Mermaid. I imagined her swimming in the dark outer space, therefore I made her eyes all black to you know, let in as much light as possible and I made the reflection of a galaxy that I imagined her looking at. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need to do is to make a galaxy inspired mermaid tail. I did this in a previous video and there's a link to it in the info box. I'll be working on this monster high doll, which I reused from a previous project that didn't really turn out. So she's gonna make a new life for herself as a mermaid. So the face is already clean and I prepped it with the Mr. Super Clear spray before getting out my watercolor pencils, acrylic paint, some mica powder and also some chalk pastels for the repaint. For the shape of the eyes, I pretty much followed the doll's actual head sculpt, so I followed the natural lines that were already there. Since so many Monster High dolls has very big poofy lips, I like to fake the illusion of a slightly parted lip, so like making it look like there's a bit of space and I do this by adding black and simply outlining what would be the bottom lip where it would be open. Since I knew I wanted the eyes all black, I just started coloring them in with the black pencil and then I realized, oh my, this is going to take so many layers to get opaque, so after that I switched to some acrylic paint, which just gets a mod much more opacity right from the start. I wanted to make the reflection of the galaxy in the eyes in mica powders because it has a nice shimmer but that wouldn't really show much onto the black so therefore I added a bit of watered down white acrylic paint in the shape I wanted the galaxy to look like in the eyes and I picked up a bit of the paint with a dry brush afterwards just so it wouldn't be just white white. I used my white pencil to highlight certain areas. Normally I could use like a flesh tone if the doll was actually flesh toned, but since this is purple I just decided to add a lot of highlights. Back to the galaxy, I mixed my mica powders with a bit of water so I could apply them more precisely and also very opaque and just mix the colors in. I like a very soft look for the lips usually, so I like to color those with chalk pastel. For shading I use some dark purple pastel. I use white chalk pastel to add even more highlights to the face for dimension and also on the cheeks area and also a bit on the forehead I added a shimmery light blue which is very transparent but it just adds a bit of shimmer and then once it's been sealed in it's very subtle. And this is how far I got in my first layer, then I sealed it with the Mr. Super Clear Spray again, let it dry and then worked on top. 
I used the watercolor effect of my white pencil to add a bit of white to the galaxy. I decided to add blue pastel to the actual eyelids before going in and darkening the other shading further. I went quite subtle with the eyebrows because I didn't want much else going on. Many of the steps, like the highlights, will be the same when I'm just trying to build up the colors in the different layers. And time for another spray. I drew on quite a lot of lower lashes because I wanted them to be quite defined and somewhat bushy. And I didn't draw any upper ones because I'll be adding 3D ones later, but that's just personal preference. I decided to add white dots to her cheeks and up her nose, kind of like freckles. I went in and defined the lower lashes using black acrylic paint just to make them stand out a bit more. And once you're happy with the look of the face, you can give it the final seal and set it off to dry. For the hair, I use a mixture of black and purple acrylic yarn, which I brushed out and then straightened with my hair straightener to make it into doll hair. For the front part of the hair, I glued it in the direction going forward, so it kind of covered the face, so it could be flipped backwards later. For the rest of the hair, I glued it going backwards and down. Once it's all dry, you can flip the front hair back. Next up, I added some doll eyelashes and I always glue them on and then trim them afterwards and then I glaze the eyes. Now 
And that's the face done. Now we can work on the body. I wanted to keep the theme of the ruffles I had made on the outer part of the tail, so I took some more of the same veil fabric and used some alcohol markers to paint it in the colors that I needed it to be. I then cut the different colors into circular spirals, because once you glue these onto a straight line, it creates ruffles. Again, to go with the tail, I used some of the same black holographic glitter and glued this onto the chest part, just to cover her, before I started gluing on the ruffles. I left the ends of the ruffles hang loose so they could be posed either around her or around the arms to kind of add to this flowy, no gravity kind of look. Add as many ruffles as you like and then she's done. I know I've moved into the pretty obscure territory with a theme for a mermaid by this point, but I actually think she turned out pretty cool. If you have any requests for future projects, do let me know in the comments below because I love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in a new one real soon. Bye!